My first night here and I'm already having strange dreams. So what's the dream? <sighs> How come you didn't ring? Oh my god. My leg, my leg, my leg, my leg, my leg. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Ha! Thank God. I was really hoping I'll meet you at home. Ah, what is? Why are you so early? The keys, the keys, please. I forgot oh. to take mine from the bunch. Take draw. Uh ah. -uh. What are you wearing? Clothes now. What? Eh? Oh! Ah, the keys. The keys. Ah! Ah! Uh -uh, we calm down now. We touch your hurry. Somebody will think you walk in a bank and not a laundry. Ah! You know how my boss is. Ah. Eh? Ah! This place is cursed. What's the worst that can happen? What's case ah. here like here as usual? Firstly, I had a bad dream. Secondly, my alarm clock did not wake me up for the very first time. Okay. Then I hit my leg right now. Now I'm wearing my dress upside down. Okay. How is wearing your dress upside down the problem? It's not a coincidence. My my grandma says it's a sign of good fortune. Oh, really? Anyway, you've always been a doubting Thomas. Are you just coming to work? No, I've been here since 8. So why are you just getting dressed? There was... Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Very good, sir. Change my clothes. Sure, um, it's okay, your tag. Yeah. Okay. I have it here and that's the money. Thank you, thank you. I'll just start this. Let's see. Okay, one minute. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You too. You too. Susan! I think Call me Susan. Susan! Oh, good morning. Who opened the office today? Me, sir. Okay. Um, give these clothes to the boys. Tell them to get it ready before evening. Hmm? Good. Okay. Register this and uh, also tell the boys to get that kid ready early. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. I don't want this, you're lazy in around. Yes, sir. On the sense. <laughs> you let me to do. Mm. I surprised you. Let's go happen. I'm even lucky my boss didn't get it before I did. Well, me, you're just the witness making comments. As soon as I see, see the will not come out, I can't enter. Uh, some, somebody say, make I give you this clothes this morning. Oh. Yeah. What's his name? I can't remember, I don't forget. So I don't forget him. I don't know. Huh, no problem, but I need to label this. Can you please describe him so that when he gets here, I'll know it's him? The guy is not too fat, he's not too tall. Uh, he, he did that. No, he fair. And he, I, I'm not. The guy was it's okay. Dark. It's okay. No problem. Thank you. Baby. 
IV. Ivy, Okoro, would you do this young gentleman a favor by being his wife? Would you marry me? Alex, this isn't the big deal proposal I was expecting. <laughs> Don't you think it's fair to at least give me a response first? Come on, Alex. You know the answer. If I didn't put pressure on you, this will be coming soon. So please. What do you really want, Ivy? The question should be, what kind of proposal do I want? So you want to teach a man how to propose to you now? Alex, yes, why not? You were supposed to ask me the kind of proposal I wanted. The kind of ring, silver, or gold. Let me even see what you've got there. Alex, you do know my taste. This is just perfect. Silver. Wow. All you have to do now is just to propose rightly. You see? How? Come on. You just get a fancy and expensive restaurant. That is after you must have got me a lovely dress. My family and friends invited. Then you pop the question and I'll just act surprised. <laughs> and then my friends will get to see my expensive ring and they'll flood the Instagram with my videos and they'll get to trend. <laughs> so, that's it. Mm. So, we have been together for about two years now and you still don't know what I like. Alex, I know what you like, but I refuse to accept it. Come on, Alex, you're so boring and you're just too low-key. Doesn't make sense. So you know I'm low-key. Right? So please, get that grandiose idea of a proposal out of your mind. And I'm assuming I got a yes to my question. So please put on the ring. I'm going to work. And again, Get that grandiose idea of a proposal out of your mind. Okay? Come on, Alex, this isn't fair. Like, it's not fair. Just look at my. Just, I'm not even having an expensive nails. Okay, fine. If you wanted to propose this way, why didn't you just get someone to video the whole thing? Like, just look everywhere. It's so dry. No flower. So sorry to keep you waiting, my man. <sighs> what am I to complain? <laughs> You're the CEO. So you can come to work whenever you like. <laughs> oh. I mean, don't start with me this morning because if you had told me you were coming, at least I would have been earlier. Besides, the reason I came late was not even worth it. Did you get into a fight with Ivy? Yeah. I proposed. You did what? But I thought we were still undecided on whether she is a wife material or not. Well, she threatened to break up with me if I don't take her relationship to the next level. She said her parents have her kids, which I could do now. <sighs> Serious. Uh, but would you rather now get into a marriage you're not sure of than getting single again? Okay. I'm not getting any younger. Look at me now. But wait, how do you intend to handle our extravagant lifestyle? I think I can cop that. I think so. You think? You think? <laughs> B, you know how unlucky I've been with you, man. I can't start looking for a wife all over again. I don't tire.
What's wrong with you? Why are you smiling like a million dollar rich? Why does it always have to be about money with you? Hmm. Before uncle, what else will it be if not money? I beg, tell the good news. Nothing. I'm just smiling. Hmm. You're unbelievable. Mm. That reminds me. You mentioned you had a strange dream. What's it about? Mm. It wasn't that scary. It's just... It was just... A strange dream, that's all. Care to share? Nah. I'll just let it slide. Maybe. Mm -hmm. If you didn't choose to be with a man on our first night here, I wouldn't be having strange dreams. Hmm. <laughs> you're the one who chose to be single now, so cut me some slack. Lillian, come on, that's an unfair thing to say. You know I haven't been lucky in relationships. And that's why you chase all those eligible bachelors away, eh? Sophia, you have to try again, really. Of course I could. I want to. It's just that I haven't felt butterflies with anyone yet. Oh, really? There you go again. I give up. Listen, really, Lillian. Like, <clears throat> of course I want to love, mm. but I've never really truly been in love with anyone so dearly before. Hmm. Well, I hope you feel those butterflies in any of time. So if you're not getting any young girl, all your mates are married. So you have now, you have now turned, you have now turned my office into a sleeping room. Huh? I'm sorry, sir. Maybe because I did not give you plenty of work, that's why you're, you, you're lazying around. Oh. Huh? No, sir. Lazy thing. The clothes are actually to register. Have you registered them? Yeah. Who wrote this thing like this? What kind of name is this? I, I did. That's the person's name. Fragrance. People are funny now. How can someone register? How can someone name his child Fragrance? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh -huh. um, these boys, they said that the starch is finished. Yeah. Go and get them some. Go and get them starch. Huh? Okay. Good afternoon. Welcome, sir. I've uh, been bringing clothes here last week. Okay. Okay. You want to pick it up? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Um, your receipt, sir. Ah. Mm, the time when I come, the office no open. Sign man, shop man outside. And you don't even ask me my name. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. We were, you know, trying to. Uh, is he a native or a corporate? No, just three white shirts. Three uh, white shirts. Three white shirts. Yeah. Yeah. This is one. Yeah, nine minutes. Ah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I can sign. It is 4,000, sir. 4,000, yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, you. You know, that's not how we work, eh? Sorry, eh? I want the one. No, no, no. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sophia, come here. Oh, yeah. Stay there. How many of my customers have I lost because of you? How many customers? 
have I lost because of you? How many times have I told you and explained to you how vital it is for you to come to work early? And you still come to work late, jeopardizing my business. Sir, so I always come to work early. Shut up, come on, shut up! You liar! So how come, how come a client took, took his clothes to, to, the, to the bookseller outside? Huh? And you even tagged the clothes wrongly? How do you explain that? <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. Give down your stupid apology to yourself. Nonsense. I always come early, it's just once I've been late, sir. Ah. So am I supposed to believe you that you, you come to work early? Every single time they catch a thief, that's the first time the person is stealing. Have you, ever, have you bothered to ask yourself if something happened to that cloth? If it got lost, what we would have told the customer? Huh? How many times have I warned you to, to take this business and, and, and handle it with your life? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry to yourself. Nonsense. Listen, from henceforth, see this phone? Hmm? It will ring exactly at 8 a.m. Let your village people help you that you don't pick it up. That day you will lose your job. Probably you do not understand the number of graduates that are out there roaming on the streets. That's why you take yours for granted. I'm sorry, sir. Let me see what you bought. Give this to the boys. Oh, Ooh, ah, and I thought I was seeing him. I wanted to meet him so badly. Um, Alex? Oh? So finally, I got my event planner. She's coming in from London. Yeah. And my wedding dress, yes, from Dubai. My deco from Paris. God, it's going to be beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Why are we flying in an event planner from London and importing the decor from Paris where we can get these things in Nigeria? Alex, please, can you just stop? After all, you didn't even give my dream engagement. This is my wedding. It has to be the talk of town. I need to train on my wedding day. It has to be big. We're not getting married to train, are we? You know, I can't do this with you. You're always like you. I'm trying to cope with your boring life. You're pushing me away. Like, what do you even want from me? It's not fair. It's my wedding. Can you let me be happy for once? I'm, I'm, I'm only saying this. No, 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 no. I can't do this with you right now. And it's really sad. Ivy. <laughs> you know, I, I, I can't do this with you right now. Ivy, just, can't we just have a simple conversation without you yelling or we? Wow. Well. Oh, so it's okay, no problem. Yeah, I'll come by next weekend. Mm. All right. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, I'm tired. You know, if this job of yours is stressing me out this much, you should quit. Why don't you find me one so I know once I quit, I won't be sitting at home idle waiting for a job. Girl, not everybody's lucky to have a boyfriend who caters for their needs. Okay, I'm sorry. That didn't come out right. I'm only worried because you often come back from work unhappy. That's fine. Okay, so tell me what happened. My boss, he ruined my chance of meeting someone I've been longing to meet. Who? Okay, I really don't know this guy. In oh. fact, I don't know him, but the scent of his shirt is so, oh, so heavenly. Wait, a customer? Is my confession, please. Mm. Babe, you remember that day I went to work late? Uh -huh. mm. A customer came by and left his shirts for my neighbor. 
The scent of the clothes just swept me off my feet. I can only imagine how handsome he is. <laughs> Wait, is this really happening? Am I dreaming or something? You are all about somebody you have never met because of his perfume. I knew you were going to make a mockery of this. That's why I didn't <laughs> want to tell you. <laughs> ah, but wait, too. Oh, how are your chances of seeing him ruined? He can always come by to the um to the laundry. Hmm. I doubt. This is his first time patronizing us. He's not a regular customer. Hmm. Mm, I see. Let me go inside. <clears throat> Please don't finish my changing now. What's going on with you? Ah. So which church are you going to this time around? Ha, babe. You should get ready and come with me. This church I discovered is in Guarempa with a lot of eligible, handsome guys. Ah! Hmm. When would you stop? It's weird how you go to different churches every Sunday in search of a husband when you have a boyfriend. Babe, I'm open to better options, so. Ha, did you send a ring on my finger? Instead of you to get ready so we can go, you're telling me about uh, this one. Ha! I'm not in search of a husband. Oh, really? Because of your perfume boyfriend, Abby? Sophia, continue deceiving yourself. You remember your age, Abby? It's just you and I left in this world of singlehood. Very soon, I will leave you and get married. There's no competition anyway. Ah, I see a cup of tea. Anyway, tell me I look gorgeous. Dashing. Ah, how are your friends now? Mm. Not when you look like you're going to an all black party. No decency. It's church for Christ's sake. Ah, I hear you. Hmm. When I find a husband, I'll start dressing decently. For now, I'll keep slaying till I slay a husband. I beg. You know what? When I get to church, I'll just tell, you know, I'll just find some cute guys. I'll tell them, hey, I have this beautiful friend who is at home and she's roasting and she needs a boyfriend or a husband. You get? I'll just, you know, what are friends for? I can do that for you, my darling. Bye. See you later. Hello? 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 Hi. Oh, I'm Good sorry time. to bother you. Uh, my car just broke down and I was wondering if I could uh, stay here while I wait my mechanic. He's already on his way. All right, you can have a seat till he gets here. Thank you very much.
excuse me. Oh, sorry to bother you again. Um, you okay? Yes. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, nothing really. I am just baffled that a uh, doctor like you work in the laundry. Is that supposed to be a compliment or what? Oh, apologies. I, obviously, I didn't put my words right. Uh, what I actually mean is that um, I'm surprised that a pretty lady like you uh, we could get any man to do absolutely anything for her. What? Yeah. As an office girl, I'm more like the receptionist. So oh. it's no big deal. <laughs> you, you know what? I uh, like uh, women who, who are diligent and know what they want. Oh. I'm Patrick. Hello? Offering you a seat wasn't me shooting my shot. That was just me being human. Oh, well, <laughs> even I was shooting your shot, I mean, it was worth it. Uh, after all, I'm expensive, am I not? Uh, listen, all I want is to get to know you some more. Yeah. Do you mind if I get your contact? I do. Why? Uh, I don't mind. You do not need my contact for anything. Please do not let me regret offering you a seat. Sorry. <sighs> oh boy, I would have been here earlier, even though for the fact that my car broke down. Sorry, man, I got here late as well. Because of that woman I call my fiance. And Patrick, I'm tired. You and this your toxic relationship. I mean, it's just a relationship. And look at how you are. Look at how frustrated you are. I mean, I believe you're aware that uh, marriage is a lifetime thing. <sighs> she keeps getting on my last nerve. Well, you see, all women are the same, right? They keep angering and provoking you, wanting you to hit them. Now listen, that is exactly where you got it all wrong. See, well, all women are not the same. Yes, it's just quite unfortunate that you got yourself a stubborn one. Very stubborn one. <laughs> unfortunate you. Uh, 